Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick tip on just how to set up opacity in Substance Painter 2020. So in order to do this, you can see that I have my goggles here set up and I have glass, metal, and leather, and I want transparency or I want opacity on the glass, on this plastic here. So the way we do that is we need to start with changing the shader. So over here on the top right corner, there's shader settings. So we wanna click that and you can see there's PBR Metal Rough. So if this is what you have, or maybe you have something else, this is what's created by default, uh, unless you change it. So what we want to do is hit PBR Metal Metal Rough, and then find PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending. So go ahead and change that. And that's going to change the shader here. So I'll go ahead and X on that. Then what we need to do is jump to your texture set settings right here. So if you don't have that open, you want to go to views and then just do texture set settings right here. Once you do that, I'm going to go ahead and move this up just a little bit, give me more real estate. And then you can see I have channels. And what I want to do is add opacity as a channel. So go ahead and hit the plus sign and we'll go ahead and add opacity. And then now that we have that, we can jump to our actual glass material, which is just the standard plastic material. And you can see we have OP and OPs now for opacity. So if we go ahead and enable opacity, you can see we can go ahead now, just like any grayscale value and lower the opacity. And there you go. You can start to see right through these glasses. So depending on how transparent or thick you want these glasses, you can uh, make those adjustments there. And of course, if we wanted to change the colors a bit, give them a tint, everything else still works all the same. Once you do that, you are all good to go. You can actually verify that this looks correct here in iRay. And you can see that we have our transparent glass and things are looking good. Now, one thing that you may be interested in is if you want to take this out of Substance Painter, uh, you have to make sure to pull out the map. So you want to just go to export textures, go to your templates. And what I recommend is just doing a PBR metallic roughness and right click that and duplicate. So now you can do PBR metallic roughness. We can say with opacity, with opacity and, and then we can edit this here by adding an opacity map. So you can see what I can do is just create a grayscale map here. And then in this grayscale map, once I just left click that, it creates a new grayscale and we just call it opacity. Then what I want to do is just grab opacity and drop that on the grayscale map and then do gray channel. All right. And then you can go here and then change this output template to, uh, PBR metallic roughness with opacity, and then you get to go and export wherever you need it. Now, there is still a whole workflow on how to set up refractive glass or transparent objects in other render engines besides Substance Painter and iRay. So I can cover that in a later tutorial. So, but hopefully for now, as far as setting up opacity and transparency inside of Substance Painter, this was helpful. Thanks everyone. Take care.